What's up all? So we're gonna do something a little bit different. Every once in a while I do a project and I like to bring it to the channel, just something different, break up the tool monotony. And uh, today we're making a Harley Davidson flag. Now, usually I just clear coat these and I'll show you this here a little bit, but we're gonna do a resin with this. I want this thing to look like glass. Every time I do a clear coat or something, it just doesn't have the shine that I'm looking for. So I, I went up to the depot and I bought some of this. This is the hardener and it's called glaze coat. Never used this stuff before. We're gonna check it out. Now I put this on the Shapoko machine and I carved out the Harley Davidson logo. Then I painted it with a paint stick and then that's white in there. And then I just spray painted this. This is all stain right here. And then on the stars, what I did was I also carved those out with the CNC and then used a paint stick to color in the orange on the stars for the union. Now, even though this looks like it's a little shiny, it's just the sheen coming from the wood after I sanded it and the stain. Once I put that on and it dried, it actually got a, a nice little shine, a little sheen to it. But I really want this thing to look like a plate of glass after I'm done. So we're gonna mix this stuff up and we're gonna see how it goes. Now, it's a one-to-one -one mix. I got a mixing cup, I got a mixing stick. I will put a link in the description below for this stuff. If it comes out good, again, this is the first time using it, uh, you can check it out. But we're gonna mix this now. We're gonna put this in a mixing cup. You can actually use, I don't know, like a plastic cup. Some people say don't do that, but I don't see why not. Uh, but let's mix some up here. So I think what I'm going to do, because I'd rather have too much than not enough, it is a one-to-one -one mixture. So instead of going one and then two with the hardener, I think I might go one and a half and then the three up with the hardener. So let's do that. This stuff ran me about uh, I don't know, 60 some dollars, 60, 69. But this flag is <laughs> probably gonna cost around 250 if it comes out okay. So let's see if we can go to that line. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, we also have the torch ready and the torch is not going to harden this. It's going to take out the air bubbles. You can use a heat gun but it's the carbon dioxide that actually takes the bubbles out of this. Before we even get to that step though, we have to make sure that we mix this very well. So now we're going to add, I'm a little bit over one and a half. Now we gotta add the hardener. And this stuff is going to make a mess. So if you don't want to ruin your table, put some paper down. I don't care about this because it's just a old piece of wood that I'm using. Let's bring this up just a little bit past the three. Again, I would rather have a little bit too much than not enough. So I think we're good right there. Now we have to mix this. I don't know how well you can see this, but it doesn't mix well by itself. You can see that the the base or the clear is settling to the bottom and then that hardener just sets up on the top. So you have to make sure that you mix that well. Let's do that now. You can see there's streaks in there. If you don't get those streaks out, just like in auto body, when we used to shoot clear coat back in the day, if you didn't mix that stuff good with the hardener, you had spots that were just gooey and would not dry. So I don't care if you're sitting there for a half an hour, make sure you get those streaks out. You can see the streaks and this should turn clear. It's kind of hazy now. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but it should go clear. So we're just gonna scrape the sides of this we're just gonna keep on mixing. You can see it's starting to clear up a little bit, but let's just keep going with it. 
All right, we got the bubbly in there. And what we're gonna do after we put this on, I'll explain that to you. We're gonna hit it with the torch and I'll take all those bubbles out. But this stuff here is self-leveling. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna put this on with a foam brush. If you use a roller, that's fine, but you do not wanna use like a cotton roller or whatever those rollers are, those paint rollers that have the fuzzies on them, cause it will stick. So do not do that. You can use this foam brush. We're gonna go around, we're gonna dab it, go around the edges a little bit so it actually flows over. Because if you don't do that first, it won't flow over evenly. So we'll just dab it, go around the edges, and then we're just gonna dump the stuff on. I'll spread it out, and then we're going to hit it with the torch. Again, the torch will not dry it. That's what the hardener's for. The torch is just to take those bubbles out. It uses the carbon dioxide to pop those bubbles, bring them up to the top, and make this smooth. So let's do that now. FYI, guys, I am doing this really late at night. A long day at work. Ugh. But I wanted to get this done. Somebody had asked me for the Harley Davidson logo flag. I thought it was pretty cool. And it was a bit challenging. So I figured I would try it. And I'm just hoping this comes out nice. And I have a feeling that I'm going to regret not putting some type of a tarp down. At least on paper. This stuff is going to go everywhere. So if you do not care about your table, yeah, go ahead and do it this way. But if you do, you might want to put some type of tarp or something down. Now I just need to go in the back here. We're going to move these bottles. This stuff is so thick. All it is is basically a liquid resin. It's like a clear coat. And this is what you can put on your kitchen table if you have furniture that's got that really nice shine to it, real thick, almost like glass. This is basically what it is. Move this over here. I know I'm gonna make a mess. I should have cleaned this up first, but like I said, it's just been a really long freaking day. All right, so we got this going the whole way around the edge and it should flow over pretty nicely. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it, we're gonna dump this all. It should fill in all of the carving out in the stars and everything. And uh, we'll just hit it with the brush and then we will hit it with the torque. Oh, it's gonna be fun, but uh, worried about what this is gonna do here. So we'll just spread a little bit on like this. Look at that. Spread it all down like so, so smooth. Man, I hope I mixed enough. I should have. I should be okay. Where's my stick at? Ah, mm -mm -mm. Scrape that out. Okay. Start spreading this. And again, this is a self-leveling type of dill and it's not paint it's a resin so we're gonna go all the way back all the way forward and it's already starting to shine up oh look at that that is freaking awesome first time using this stuff we're just gonna let it go down over the edges we're gonna let it flow like a waterfall look at that I gotta bring some more over this way. And it's okay if it goes down over the edges. That's what you want. You wanna cover it up. But you wanna make sure that you have enough to get everything. And again, self-leveling. See how it wants to stick? That's why I, I hit that first on the edges. Now it doesn't have that friction. Let's bring this up here. Bring that this way. I don't know, I just kind of like doing these things every once in a while and bringing these to the channel. Again, it breaks up the same old routine. Oh, I love my tools. And this is a tool review channel. Just wanted to do different things every once in a while. Come on, who's not a fan of Harley Davidson, huh? Come on. Give me a little bit of an issue. So I'm, I'm just bringing this over. It should run down. There you go. Should run down right over those. 
that over this way. You notice I'm taking really long strokes because I do not want waves. I do not want any issues with that. Not looking even. Bring that down there. I want to bring a little bit more down this way. See how I'm just kind of pushing it? And just leveling itself. That's what's awesome about this stuff. And those bubbles, even though we have some, they're not, they're not too bad. Just leveling, leveling them up themselves, you know. I thought this would be a lot worse than what it was. That foam brush works really well. Look at that freaking logo popping. That is awesome. Okay. So I think we're just about done here. I think we got everything we needed covered. That went into the stars real nicely. Is that a piece of wood? Oh. Can't have that. So now I gotta touch that up again. Hold on one second. Can't have that. All right, I think uh, I think we are good with this, guys and gals, whoever's watching. And if you could, please smush the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I like doing this stuff every once in a while, I'm bringing it for you. Okay, so. Here we go. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but right here, you can see that there are bubbles. Just a, a couple of few, you know, just a few here and there, not too many, um, but they are there. So that is what the torch is going to do. So I'm going to try, you can see right here, I'm going to try to pick this up on camera as I'm torching it. All right, and again, I mean, really not that bad. So let's do this real quick. Let's kick on the torch. And you do not want to hold this torch over top of this. You want to go back and forth. This is not to cure it or dry it. This is just to take those bubbles out so it is smooth as glass. That hardener will harden this. So you want to go pretty quick. We don't have to turn the flame up all the way. Just need to get that bubble here, there's bubbles there. We'll go all over and get those out. See them pulling them up to the top, and they just kind of pop, which is pretty cool.
Now, if you hold that torch over there too long, it will scald that, right? You can destroy what you just created. So you want to go pretty quick with it. Did a pretty good job getting bubbles out. I think maybe I have a little bit of dust down there, but uh, eh, other than that, not bad. It's pretty good. So basically now all we have to do is let this stuff dry uh, overnight and hopefully when we come out in the morning it should be as hard as glass basically. Fingers crossed. Alright all, it is the next day and unfortunately the temperatures dipped down last night probably around 40 degrees so this is just, it's not tacky, it's actually hard um, but it's, it's still soft. And the reason I'm sort of upset about that is because I need to wet sand this now. Because what had happened was the wifey opened up the garage door. And when she opened up the garage door, I don't know if you can see this or not. But we do have some dust on here. So now what I need to do is actually wet sand this. And what that will do is it will actually take out that dust up on top. And then I'm going to buff it or polish it out. Now a lot of people might add a second coat. I don't think I'm going to add a second coat on this. I think all I'm going to do is hit this with some 1500 grit or maybe 2000 grit, scuff it up a little bit and then sand it. I may do a second coat. I gotta think about this, but either or, I'll put it in this video. All right, my mind is made up. I'm going to add a second coat. Got some 220. All we need to do is scuff this up a little bit just so the abrasion, that, that second coat will stick to this and it won't just slide off. We need something for it to grab onto, you know, the friction. So I'm just gonna take some 220 and I've had this out in the sun for a little while, but again, I just need to scratch it up a little bit. It does not need to be perfect. We just need something for this to be able to stick. All right, round two, we're gonna put more on there. We just mix some up. All right, so now we're gonna torch it, get those air bubbles out. All right, we'll let that set here for a couple minutes and I'll hit it again. All right, let it dry out one more time. Hopefully the finished product will be good. And there you go all. So we put the second coat on and eventually what I'm going to do, probably this weekend, once this hardens up enough that I can actually wet sand it, I am going to take some 2000 grit, I'll wet sand it down. You know, again, I got some fuzzies. It is springtime, so I'm getting a little bit of the, the fuzzies in the air it's landing on this, so it's hard. I don't have a paint booth. But what I'll do is I'll wet sand that down and then I'm going to buff it out. And it should be basically perfect once I get that done. 
Now it is a little bit hard to pick up because of that sunshine glaring off of it. It does. It's, I mean, it's basically a plastic on here, but it has like almost a glass finish to this. It's just so awesome. You know, and it's really actually not that expensive. You're probably looking about $65 for a gallon. That includes the hardener. But at the end of the day, you're making money off of these, hopefully anyway. So yeah, you can turn just about anything that you work on. And, and again, this is all carved out right here. That's a carving, and then it's just filled in with that resin. So you can basically take any wood project and make it look like it has a mirror glass finish to it. Now, once I do hit this with the very fine grit and buff it out, I will put the finished pictures up on the Instagram page for you all to check out. I hope you all like this video. If you do, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Come say hi to us on the Instagram page at Tour Review Zone. We'll be back with more videos soon.